Voila! Voilà! Scalp! Voilà! Yeah, what's up, Popo? Hey! Bitch, I'm gonna get to you, but I'm gonna get to you, Popo. Welcome to the Amanda Notando Show. I'm Amanda and thank you guys for watching. I am so super excited about today's show because we have one of the most important guys, if you didn't know, in Edmonton. <laughs> well known in Edmonton um, for promoting musical artists and um, hosting a radio show here in Edmonton. This is Taurai Viriri, aka Slicey T. Welcome to the show, Slice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Amanda. <laughs> I am really, so excited you're here. By saying, uh, <laughs> this is a beautiful platform. Thank you. For people like us. Yeah. You inspire a lot. Thank you. And uh, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. I know we've spoken uh, before. Yeah. And I, <clears throat> I always try to, you know, encourage. Yeah. So definitely I couldn't wait to be um, at this show. Right. This platform. I know, of course, we're supposed to be here with Jap Razor. Right. We'll go into that. We'll get into that. <laughs> Right. But before I even get into intro, um today's show, actually, since I said AKA Slicey T, how did Slicey T come about? How did the name come about? Slicey, Slicey, Slicey. Obviously, uh, well, I can't say obviously, was uh, mm -hmm. a lot of people here in Canada they might not know mm -hmm. how the name came up. But for those people, mm -hmm. um, uh, from where I come from, mm -hmm. which is Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. beautiful Zimbabwe. Right. Um, they know the group Slice. Okay. Musical yeah. group, mm -hmm. uh, which I was part of. I'm still part of it. Um, so I used to go by the name Slice T in right. the group. So when I came here, everybody just started calling me Slice, 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 Slice. Oh, slice. okay. So, I I meant to ask, like, cause I, I, it's part of the questions, like, why, why you're an artist at Slice International? So now you've answered my questions. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's exactly. good to learn, right? Because yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And it's funny, some, some of the people that don't even know my real name. Right. You know, Slice, Slice, Slice. Right. Uh, you know, and I'm. I'm happy right. for that name. Right. It's something that we started um, 1998. Oh, wow. And, you know, we still have the name Slice and the guys are still there. Mm -hmm. But the problem is some, we are all over the world. Okay, yeah. The other, the other guys are in South Africa, <clears throat> the other guys are still in Zim, and I'm here. So, you know, I think I'm going too further in. No. Shed more. Don't shed worry. Breath. Don't worry. <laughs> and trust me, I am one person who when you when you're answering something that I'm gonna ask in the few in, in like as we go, yeah. I will tell you. I will stop you. Know, you. <laughs> you know, so. I'm, 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 I'm not used to, to, to be being asked questions. I'm used right. to asking, asking questions. questions. Right. So at times I kinda take over, you know. Right. Yeah, I totally <laughs> understand. I'm also like bad sometimes. I'm like, oh okay. Right. But anyway, um let's get back to the show. So more to know about Slice is that he's famously known to promote musical artists from Southern Africa, not just Zimbabwe, for those who didn't know just because he comes from Zimbabwe, and has hosted a plethora of concerts with artists such as Oliver Mtukudzi, the famous Oliver Mtukudzi, everybody knows international, right? And the likes of Toki Vibes, the likes of Japreza, only to mention a few, and um, like I already mentioned, he's a radio host and he is always on radio every Sunday at eight at twelve noon yeah, on eighty eight 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 point five CJSR radio, right? right yeah. Right, right. So that we're gonna put more information down below after, just after the shoot. And yeah, I know everybody <laughs> wants answers to what happened. <laughs> But not yet. Not now. We're not going to talk about it now. But then, yeah, obviously, we're also going to talk about the concert that was supposed to be happening today. And, yeah, we'll definitely get into that in a moment. But before we do that, let's take a look at the behind the scenes at Africa Radio as Slice does what he knows best and loves, which is music. Definitely. 
Good afternoon, good afternoon. Welcome to Africa Radio Show with yours, a truly DJ Slicey, back to back DJ Vinny. And today I've got Uviwe in the building. Uh, let me tell you, uh, Uviwe, how you doing, man? Let me say, uh, uh, you know, I'm trying to see how I can introduce Uviwe, Uviwe. What does Uviwe mean? Uve, yeah, Uve means you are had, you've been had. You've been had. Yeah, that's what it means. You've been had. That's what my, my, my parents' prayer has been had. Oh, they've been had. Yeah, they've been praying for uh, May face. And like I said, uh, we're going to be reviewing the album uh, by the man Japraza. Japraza is one of, uh, is, a, is, a, is apparently he is the number one artist uh, from Zimbabwe to say. And uh, he's got a beautiful album that he launched two weeks ago uh, that goes by the name Kutonga Kwaro. As Kutonga Kwaro. As Kutonga Kwaro. What does Kutonga Kwaro mean? Uh, but anyway, I just played you the song Kutonga Kwaro, and uh, actually, I, I think I have to pull it up again so that we can feel the track and we can try and analyze what the guy was trying to say on this album, on this on this song Kutonga Kwaro. So we're going them one by one. There you have it. A moment with DJ Slice at the Africa Radio Show. Tune in every Sunday, like I already mentioned, on CJSR FM 88.5 in the afternoon, like 12 noon sharp, right? MS, 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 MST, Mountain Standard Time. <laughs> right, so over to some serious business now, guys. My first question to Slice, when was Sly Artist Management Northern America established? Um, Which is different from Slice International, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so... We're talking about Sly Artist Management North America. So it was um, 2000. Okay. okay, all right. So here's the thing. Mm -hmm. um, the, I would say formally it was uh, put together, established 2016. Okay, last year. Yeah, mm -hmm. last year. But before, as I was doing the uh, the concerts, mm -hmm. so I was working with different names, you know, different mm -hmm. names, different names, different names. But otherwise, if we had to look at the time in Toro when we would say SLI artist management was put together, mm -hmm. I'd say. Yeah, uh, 2016. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, that's when officially it started, you know, um, going by the name SLI. But okay. before, I was just working with different names, you know, different partners, and you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. So pretty much that's uh, that's how it was. Oh, okay. So I was actually getting it wrong. I was saying Sly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what's what's why SLI? Like, how what what does it mean? Because I see these um, upper casing SL yeah. and then lowercase I. Like, I don't know if that's too much of a difficult question. It's something that came up because yeah. it's something that I just. I mean, right it's now. it's yeah. quite interesting that yeah. you know you 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 managed to to to, to see that you know like <laughs> right. I, like a I lot do. of people they, they 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 don't really you know right. notice that. Well, I'm a writer. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> so I expect to <laughs> to notice some of those things. Yeah. All right. So. It's in short of slice. Okay. But the reason why short, uh, you know, uh, S L mm -hmm. in capital letters, mm -hmm. it was just, it just, you know, it just was to just look fancy. Yeah. <laughs> there's no, there's no, you know, meaning main behind reason, it. Main, yeah. No, no, oh, just, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's quite interesting. It's 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 pretty cool. The same with you know, we just did the Monumental Arts Network, and then from now I was like, oh, let's make it short because I find it's too long. Right. Same with your arts network. Let's just go with that, right? <laughs> right? But I understand. <laughs> so I saw in your profile, like what I'd already mentioned, that um, you you're also a producer mm -hmm. and an artist, which you've already answered at Slice International. And I'd asked, what's the difference between um, SLI Artist Management North America and Slice International? What's the difference mm -hmm. between the two? What's uh, done on one that's not done on the other? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so the difference is. We have a recording name, okay, right? And SLI is a promoting, right? Name. Okay, yeah. So I still, I'm still attached to the group slice, okay. Though we are not recording, okay, but 
I'm still a member of the group slice. It's still there. Okay. It didn't go anywhere, but it's it's there. It's just idle. Oh, we, okay. We, we're not recording at the moment. Right. Due to obviously, yeah, well, someone is there. Someone is there. I know. You know. Right. We can. We we try to to, to record um, <clears throat> via you know send each other songs and you know I would record here and then but it was. It's a bit complicated, a bit like say maybe you know. if how many were you in the group? Yeah, five. Right, say five and then five different countries with different right. time zones yeah. to make matters worse. And yeah, I totally understand. So yeah, you know, it's, it's, I, I'm really, it's something that worries me every time, you know, okay. to think of the group mm -hmm. slice, you know, and we're not able to do much. Right. Uh, but obviously, when I left to Zim, coming here, you know, we we have to do you have to do what you have to do to survive. Like you know, That's I true. had to come here for the opportunity. Yeah. So, but and like a lot of people, they blame me for the group. You know, say. Were you the first one to leave Zimbabwe? Yeah. All right. Mm. Okay. So well, you left, and the group, you know, started going down. So. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's sad. To I talk know. about it. Like it kind of sucks. You know, <laughs> I get really emotional. You know, I can start crying. Okay, you, you know? have, there. You go. You have Kleenex right there. <laughs> Think about it. You know? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. I know, but it's yeah. It kind of sucks. Like yeah, especially I know. I mean, I, um, I, how long had you sang together, like with the group? Uh, since ninety eight. 98 that's a and, long time uh, and then and how I did left 2005 oh yeah so that was a long time with the group yeah, right yeah, Appro yeah, approximately yeah. about seven years yeah and yeah years. And, and then just detaching from that is not yeah. easy but we we had our time we had our moments right um we're still proud of what we did right during the years yeah we were the pioneers of the urban group right among um Artists like David Shifunyi, uh, oh yeah, uh, and all those. Right. So, you know, we had our time, yeah. And now, only what we can do now is to support the, the other upcoming yeah. artists. Yeah. So, I never really, even, even, even after I left Zim, mm -hmm. I still maintained, mm -hmm. you know, being in entertainment. Right. It's yeah. something that's in me, you know. Right. I can't take it out. Right. You know? Um, so I see on Africa Radio on the, on your poster, like on your um like even on your Facebook, right? Where there's um three DJs on there, including um three three um DJs included on the poster. And lately I have been seeing DJ Vinny also and heard him on the radio lately as well. Mm -hmm posting on Facebook and she's been posting on Facebook and playing has DJ Vinny joined the squad as well or does he have days that he does his own thing okay so mm -hmm. what we do with uh, Africa radio mm -hmm. show um, just like what you do mm -hmm. right uh, I give platform to everyone who wants to try it out okay so I've had so many DJs coming to the to the to the show. Okay. To the to, um, <coughs> to the show. Um, so Vinny, uh, I can't say he's joined the crew. Mm -hmm. Like when he's free, he comes. Okay. He does. You know, he's mixing. Mm -hmm. I give him time. You know, so it's like if he think he has what it takes, mm -hmm. I give him the platform. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's open to anybody. Right. Who can who thinks would like to try it out? Okay. Even you, you can come. <laughs> Bring your music. <laughs> okay. You know. Right. Yeah, and then sometimes you. I find like um you know like I'm also helping somebody exactly. out there like right. you know the girl behind our camera today because yeah. she's she is passionate about mm. film acting and everything right yeah, yeah. so i'm like take an opportunity because sometimes you can like it just by looking at it mm. but once you're on the 
you know, like in the field doing it yeah. is different. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So that's when you can figure out, do I really want to do, do I this? Really want to do right. This? And even with me, for me to start the talk show, I didn't even think about the talk show because mm. my passion is film. Right. But then I'm actually enjoying the talk show. Mm. Not that I'm leaving film, mm. but now m- m- most, most of my love is talk show, which I understand like what you're saying, that you mm. bring different art um, DJs to right. the um, studio they can do whatever they, they like whatever they and like. maybe they'll be like you know what there's not my thing i'm that i'm tired right. right we have had such kind of you know some have come and gone you know mm-hmm. but the doors are still open they didn't right to you know if they're busy mm-hmm. like we do this show uh africa radio show every sunday okay so you might not be free every sunday but right whenever they're free they mm-hmm. can always come Right. So, like now we have um, genetics. Yeah. Uh, one of the co-hosts. Mm-hmm. Uh, talks too much. I know. And um, <laughs> verbal diarrhea. Shout out to you, genetics. Shout out to you. <laughs> Why are you smiling? <laughs> no, We're just kidding. I, I, it's amazing. I, I, I gotta yeah. say. Um, we we have a chemistry when we're doing the show together. Right. Yeah. Uh, when and I'm, you need that. Yeah. When I'm doing the show myself mm-hmm. without him, like, you know, I do what I do. Mm-hmm. But when he's there, we, like, the, sh- the show is, is you know, it's is, is more... Lively. More lively, yeah. you know? <laughs> no, I yeah. Know, yeah. Because, you know, it's, it's I mean, I, 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 I really enjoy, you know. Okay. And how about him. DJ's TV? DJ's TV mm-hmm. is, a, is, is a talented guy. Mm-hmm. He's quite good on... Um, on his music, the mm-hmm. mixing. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't want to talk too much on radio. Yeah. Okay. Though I keep, you know, I, I always try to, you know, make him talk. Right. When, you know, he, he's coming with it. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, pretty much yeah, that, that's about it. So. And um, so what were you doing in terms of profession prior to getting into showbiz? Because now I know as well, you now have the. Um, what do you call it? The Celebrity Spot Lounge yeah. in Zimbabwe as well, right? Right. Yeah. So before we get into the Celebrity Spot Lounge, what were you doing, or what do you do as a profession? Uh, as a profession, yeah, I'm a hustler. Okay. <laughs> we're all hustlers. Okay. Look at him. Yeah, he's a hustler. Obviously, yeah. You know, people say say people with dreadlocks are hustlers. So, though I don't have a dreadlock, but I'm a hustler. I'm a diva. <laughs> I mean, I my profession is uh, I, I work. Yeah. You know, I look for money. Okay. You know, I, I I look after my family. You know, which is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, I I have I have I have, uh, I have, I have different pro- professions. Right. Yeah. So I do some of the things mm-hmm. uh, in the profession, mm-hmm. and some I don't. You know, but um, pretty much, you know. I'm comfortable. Oh, big up to the hustlers. Anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hustlers are cool. <laughs> but um, so as we had already mentioned, I just started mentioning about Celebrity Spot Lounge, which you sub- st- established in Zimbabwe last year, right? 2016, yeah, was it? Yeah. Um, do you please tell me more about it? What, what's, what's it all about? So, you know, I've always had a passion for having uh, a, a joint you know, where people can come and relax, listen mm-hmm. to music, drink, and you know, like okay. it wasn't more like a club scene. You know, mm-hmm. the, I, I just said, uh, you know, I, I, when I when I visioned uh, what I wanted to do, mm-hmm. I just wanted to just have like a small spot. You know, You're right. And so I looked. I'm like, okay, our celebrities, you know, do they have a spot where they go and hang out? You know, mm-hmm. I'm like, uh, okay, I'm one of the celebrities, and right. I have a hard time in finding a place where where I can just go and chill with other celebrities. Right, and which like, will actually make you okay. feel comfortable. Yeah, unlike I'm not saying it's a bad thing being around non-celebrities, mm. but confirm if I'm wrong. <laughs> I have a hard time with people saying, oh yeah, we've seen your talk show. Oh my gosh, right? Yeah. And I find it overwhelming, yeah. right? Compared to being around the same 
Mm-hmm. Celebrity kind of environment, and you're calm because no nobody's gonna say ah. Bro. Okay, not yeah. that they're not gonna say that, but it's not as overwhelming because you're a celebrity, <laughs> right? Not, not good to, uh, What can I say? Okay, yeah. Now I feel like I'm on Africa Radio. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but just being just being comfortable around the same type of crowd. Yeah, is yeah. that the atmosphere you're trying to create? Or people c- so that they can sit down, create ideas together, or what? What is it? So, really? so it was more like, you know, they would have a spot where they can come together and you know sit and drink, mm-hmm. and also, but then later on, I when I because I've got two of them now. Oh, wow. oh yeah! Congratulations! So, uh, thank you. So I opened the second one. Mm-hmm. So the second one is more open, like it's a it's, it's, it's a club scene, okay. you know, uh, mm-hmm. where fans, you know, go meet the the celebrities. The celebrities. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the so, other one is strictly celebrities. No, or? like we still have fans that that go there. Okay. But it, it's it's more like you know celebrities going there. Like we mm-hmm. we don't have restriction in. You know, okay. You no, know, you're not a celebrity, so you're not coming in. No. Yeah. You know, so yeah, so pretty much that that's that's about it. And um, so showbiz is all about networking, right? Yeah. It's all about networking, like any other business, anyway. Right. 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 It's all about networking in order for you to be successful. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you get connections with artists from Africa, not just Zimbabwe, obviously, like South Africa yeah. and whatever. Um, to so that you can be able to invite them to come and perform in Canada. Yeah. So what happens is we look at the artist's uh, profiles to see who is like we do a survey, right? Okay. First of all, before we bring an artist mm-hmm. to see who do people want to see. Right. We don't just bring the artist because you know I like the because artist they, myself. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we do a survey through Facebook. Mm-hmm. Who do you want to see? Mm-hmm. And we put maybe three or four artists. Okay. And then we see the number of likes on which artist. Then we get hold of that uh, that that artist management. Okay. We find out the availability, how much they charge. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know all those details. Mm-hmm. Then we sign contracts, and we do the the advertising. Okay. Saying okay, this artist is coming and you know, start advertising the show. Right. Oh wow, that's which I should say, it's it's so. It's that 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 part of show promotion. Mm-hmm. I've done it for the years, and last year I said. Um, after my figures on the show, I was like, this is my last show. Yes, I remember that rumor went around a lot, saying yeah. that you're retiring and promoting yeah. people and stuff. Yeah. But this year, there's been a couple. That so, I I really meant it when I said I was going to stop. I was okay. going to... Uh, because it's, it's hectic. It's very challenging, I can imagine. It's very, very challenging. There's so much money that's put put in mm-hmm. there's so much work in advertising mm-hmm. like it's it's and it's 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 a risky business very you know yeah it's a risk business and but like i said for the f- sake of our people our africans our zimbabweans yeah we you look at it and you say okay should I do it? Should I not do it? And you're like, okay, they need show. I mean, they need the show. What can I do? You know? Right. So, yeah, but definitely this year, it will be the last year. Okay. <laughs> if we're not going to hear it next year. <laughs> no, definitely. Definitely, definitely this like, year. Like, I'm so bent out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, 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 I'm tired. And you've been doing it for how long? Since you got here. Since I got here, mm-hmm. 2007. Oh well, yeah, that's I've a long time. Ten I've years. been I've, I was, I've been DJing, mm-hmm. uh, and we started doing uh, bringing artists. I think it was 20, 
2009 when we brought Winky D. Winky right. D was the first. Right. Yeah, we brought DJ Cleo the yes. following year. Oh, wow. So it was year after year, year after year after year. Oh. But I think, you know, yeah. we, we have other guys that, you know, that can also do the shows. So, but for me, I think maybe I'm getting old. <laughs> Look at you getting old. I can't see gray hair, but then oh, like you're complaining. You're like, oh yeah, I'm getting bald. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we'll be right back, guys. Okay. So the big question people have been waiting for, right? One of the main reasons you came over the show. Um, there's supposed to be a concert. There was supposed to be a concert tonight, right? and uh, with Jeff Reza and Bumbeto, and people had already purchased their tickets, right? And we all know that, only to find out Friday night, which is like two days ago, that the flyer had changed to the All Africa DJ Celebrate Canada Day. What happened to the concert? Okay, um, <clears throat> good question. <laughs> well, yeah. I also need to know what happened. Okay, oh, all right. <laughs> I think you kind of have a glimpse of what happened more than I do, right? Anyway, so yeah. anyway, um, first of all, I want to say my, my apologies to all the fans, Japanese fans mm -hmm. uh, in Canada mm -hmm. that had uh, bought tickets and those that were still coming to buy the tickets on the day of the show. Right. So <clears throat> I'll start by saying uh, we have done several shows. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think three, four shows in a year. Right. Hundred percent clear record. Yeah. Of shows going smooth. Mm -hmm. And I would say there are times when another will come comes off some some way. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. You can have a. Uh, hundred percent record but at times there is also that small time when there is something bad that's gonna happen right and that's what happened with the Japanese show oh okay uh, can't go in detail right in explaining it's okay <laughs> why how they didn't manage to come mm -hmm. um, but I can only say at the moment, the show has been postponed and we're okay. still yeah, that's working what out to. on a new date. Okay. Um, I know it, it very, I mean, a lot of people, they, it's caused some inconveniences in other people who had planned yeah. traveling from outside the city, coming to Edmonton. Mm -hmm. So, but, you know, that's what happened. No, they okay. couldn't come. S reasons beyond my control. Reasons okay. beyond Japanese's control too. Okay. But he still loves his fans here. Okay. I still value uh, the Zimbabwe community, mm -hmm. the Africans. Mm -hmm. When we say we are going to bring something, it's our main goal to try and make sure that it happens. Okay. But at times, when it fails, it fails. Right. Yeah. And, you know, like, with, with the way you're answering right now, it was mainly on Japrez's fans. There's also Bobeto fans out there, especially, you know, who really, really, really wanted to come. And they're also wondering, okay, is it Bumbeto? You know, not that you need to get into detail, yeah. right? Yeah. But because Japrez has come to Canada before, mm -hmm. Right, so people would, would be not that people would be they already asking that, right? Yeah. Okay, is it better? Is it this? Or if it's gonna be postponed, like we've seen the Toronto mm. pole flyer, mm. which has gone around saying that it's gonna be postponed, is it something that we can actually expect at the end of the year by the end of the year to this year? Or do you have any idea of when they might come? Uh, I hope this year, okay. That's all I can say at the moment. Okay. So seeing that this has been an inconvenience to quite a lot of people who may have taken their days off, say maybe work for McMurray and stuff, 
and there's a new another show that's supposed to be coming up killer t and shinzo and shinzo right yeah do you think it's great this whole incident is gonna affect the sh upcoming show mm -hmm. because people may not have faith mm -hmm. as i speak right they may not have faith in it being a success mm -hmm. or if it's okay. going to be cancelled so so you agree. that's a that's a very good question mm -hmm. um so yeah it's gonna affect mm -hmm. right yeah yeah definitely it's gonna affect right but people need to look at what we have done before right and this is the like the first time yeah right? that's yeah. the first time mm -hmm. We've never had a show that has not gone through. Right. This was the first one, right? Mm -hmm. And should we say they should judge according to just this one? Yeah, incident? that's that's up to them. Okay. Uh, whether they come or not, mm -hmm. but like I said uh, earlier on, I'm not doing this as a business. Right. I'm doing this as a passion for entertainment and bringing entertainment to Zimbabweans. Right. So people are saying, well, we're not going to support the next upcoming shows. Mm -hmm. It's not going to affect me. Okay. Because I was doing, bringing artists for, for people. the people. Okay. So if you, if you sabotage to say, oh, okay, this one didn't go through, he didn't, okay, that brother didn't come, so mm -hmm. uh, Kila T, we're not going to go and uh, support. Mm -hmm. Okay. I might as well just say, let me quit now. Right. And, and quitting is and not an option. So I think <laughs> now, let's have somebody else to come do the shows. Right. Yeah. And if there's somebody to step up do shows, yeah. good. Good for them. And because, I mean, if we're going to sabotage to say, okay, this didn't go. Yeah. So now we're going to not go because, uh, you know. Right. Like I, I mentioned last year that. I'm going to quit mm -hmm. for sure because I was tired mm -hmm. of doing shows, mm -hmm. right? I've got other things to focus on. Right. My business in Africa, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So it's 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 yourself. Mm -hmm. So if you sabotage and not come to Killer T show, mm -hmm. then the next time no shows in Canada. Right. It doesn't affect So you'd rather fly all the way to Zimbabwe to go. <laughs> I, I, I don't have a problem in flying to Zimbabwe. No, I'm saying the other people, yeah, right? Yeah, but then it depends how good their pockets are. How yeah, good their pockets are. I know. If, oh they are good, if they are fortunate like me, right. then they can fly to Zimbabwe and watch those guys. You know, Jabreza is my brother. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm the first person who was hurt mm -hmm. to notice, to note that this show is not going to be able to happen. Right. And it happened last minute. Right. But I will not be able to go into details. Detail. I know people need details. details. But what but sometimes, difference would yeah. it make? I right. know people would say, well... We just want to know. We just want to know. Because everybody's nazi. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I didn't say that. I'm saying that. I, I have to, oh yeah, I have the guts to say that. <laughs> because I'm the one that talks too much. So yeah, because people are nazi and people want to know. So that's why I also had to ask. Right. And right. like you're saying, that's why even when I told you that I am actually going to ask about it, but it's, it's your comfortability and yeah. what it is that you want to say. I'm not going to push out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. to say stuff that you're, that's actually private. You know what I mean? Because right. some right. things, it's not everything that we have to let the public know. Right. right? Yeah. But just the fact that guys, yes, it's been canceled. And for now, because it's something that's been postponed and hopefully we, it's going to be done by this year. Yeah. Hopefully, guys. Yeah. So look out for that and keep following um, Africa Radio Show on Facebook. And you're, are you on Instagram as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, on Instagram, Instagram. and all the social platforms which will be down below um, this show. It was so lovely to have you on the show. Like. It was an honor, actually, to be Thank sitting you. down with you. And, like, it, it's, it's, it's so nice, you know, having you over, yeah. considering that some, the, there's one time I came to a radio as well, and I was shaking. I was shivering, if you didn't know. But now that I am interviewing people, too, it's, it's kind of fun. Right? Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. enjoy it. So um, that's it for today with Taurai, a.k.a. Slice. It was such a great honor to have you over and I hope 
you will come back again. Definitely. Especially with artists, that's one thing I would yeah. love to continue doing. Okay. Having arti like the artists that come to perform here, mm -hmm. have them come over. We can talk, chit chat, have fun. And you know, people can get to know them as well. Definitely. Exposure and stuff like that, right? Okay, so now we're finally coming towards the end of the show. But before we do that, I would like us to end with a bit of fun. Um, you already know it's game time, guys. But, yeah, uh, yeah, you heard me say but and game time at the same time. Um, our guest today did not come with a game, which is okay, because on the show... I have a game for you. Oh, you actually have a game for me? Mm -hmm. But I'll okay. be asking you a question. <laughs> okay, it better, be, it better not be difficult. <laughs> But ask that one question and I'll be able to answer you. Okay. It better not be complicated. Because you didn't even think about a question. Yeah. Come on now. It's a never ever question. Uh-huh. Never, never ever. Yeah. Okay, so that's a good <laughs> game. Guys, so if you didn't get it, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay. Never, no, I mean I like the game, but I mean it's yeah. it's you know, I've seen it being I've seen it uh, being done somewhere, but I so if you haven't done it, uh-huh. If you've done it, uh -huh. you you take a sip. Okay. You drink your water. Okay. Right? Okay. So, for example, um, have I ever fell asleep in a bus? Then I drink. Okay. If I've never done it. If I've done it, then I drink. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I ask you. Uh -huh. Right. And then the answer would be the water. Me sipping on the water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if I've never, what do I do? Yeah. If I've never. If you've never. Uh -huh. You don't drink. Okay, I'll just, yeah. no. Yeah. Okay. So, have you ever dated someone and not tell them that you don't really like them? No. <laughs> For the sake of dating, so no. <laughs> wow, that was an interesting question. Okay, <laughs> something to ask on the other on, on another show. Okay, on with another question. Let's say three questions. Yeah. yeah. Question number two. Oh my gosh, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, have you ever <clears throat> did something embarrassing in front of your boyfriend? It depends on what's embarrassing because <laughs> wait because I find your boyfriend has to be your friend your boyfriend or your girlfriend has yeah. to be your friend so I don't think it would be embarrassing to do what people may call embarrassing so no yeah. no okay mm -hmm. last question have you ever had a visitor at your house mm -hmm. and not had the guts to tell them you that don't. you don't like them at the house <laughs> so I don't know who that is, but that doesn't mean don't come knocking my door. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's interesting. I'm just kidding. Everybody's welcome. Yeah, this just had to be a laughing moment. Everybody's welcome. Yeah. I'm always happy and having fun and enjoy people coming over. But anyway, that was really funny. And yeah, oh, dating issues. Let's not get into that. But anyway, yeah, I thought our guests didn't come with a game. That was a really fun game, which was directed to me, apparently. Interesting. And now we're finally coming towards the end of the show. And I really, really, really appreciate you taking your time, thank you, thank you know, you so much. In your, on your busy schedule to come over the show. And just chit chat and have fun, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. to me, this is also like a hobby. I enjoy it, I enjoy talking to people, right? right? And it was really nice to have you over. And I look forward to many of your accomplishments, other than since you're retiring in, you know, promoting people, but just the other businesses that you have back home, and you know, and whatever it is that you're gonna keep starting up, right? right. And we look forward to that, and to also, you know, Go to the celebrity spot lounge one day, yes. one of those days when I get to Zimbabwe, I'm like, you know what, I'm a celebrity. Yeah, I'm kidding. But <laughs> right, but yeah, it was really nice to have you over. I Thank feel you so, so much. On it. I, I really appreciate the time. Oh, that's awesome. And, uh, just to say to those people with ambitions, mm -hmm. visions, 
you know, we have we have had several times that never ever give up on something that you want to try. Yeah. It's always, you know, give it a try. Yeah. Give it a try. You try it, it will come to pass. It will happen. Right. So to those who feel they want to go into music promotion, mm -hmm. please, by all means, try it. It will work. Mm -hmm. I want to say it's a tough well, yes. everything doesn't come easy. Yes. That's the honest truth. Because I, I, I'm a firm believer that if you see it coming easy, no, it's not going to last. Right. That's how I feel, mm -hmm. right? I don't know how for it is. I've had hurdles and I'm still going, yes. right? And not giving up. Giving up is not an option. No, it's not. Right, yeah. And so thank you so much for the advice and the motivation. Yeah, I will put all the details on where you can follow Slice. And thank you guys for watching. Keep tuning in. Follow us. Subscribe on the Amanda Notando Show. And remember, little girls with dreams become women of vision. Thank you. God bless you. I love you. Thank Cheers. you.